Hi all, welcome again, a happy day and a warm greetings to everyone who are watching this video. And uh, as a continuation of uh, the lesson Plant Anatomy and Plant Physiology, today we are going to see the uh, part 2, part 2 uh, video. See here in this uh, video we will be covering about TS of dicot root and TS of monocot root. Okay, TS na enna. See, when you ask a child to draw a root, structure of a root or kondiya varai na, just summa ipre or structure podo, ingendo or root hairs. Namle kutti kondiya arkmo do varai bodo, we will draw root like this only. Ipre varanje just or root hairs podo. Apa TS na na why so much of structure is coming from where? Apre na what we are going to see apre na. See in the middle. In the center, we will have vascular bundles like xylem and phloem getting arranged. Okay, so TS na in the root of the curuka vetti, either da and the um, stain punny, they are going to show these uh, cells. Okay, so vascular bundles, that is xylem and phloem, they will be arranged in the form of a circle in the center of the root. Center root or center line, the or circle mari arrange air vascular bundle, that is xylem and phloem. Now, mena panaporo. This is the outer layer. Okay, that is the enlarge. Okay, so uh, in the center of the vascular bundles, they are arranged in the form of a circle in the center. So in the nadu, in the area of the cells, they are enlarged. TS of dicot root. First, you should know what is TS. That is transverse section of root we are going to see. Uh, in dicot root, we are going to see about beans. And in the monocot root, we will see about maize. First, we will go in for seeing about dicot root. See children, this is the outer layer. We this is the outer layer. And the outer layer is That outer layer will be called as piliferous layer or rhizodermis or epiblama. Okay, in the root, the outer layer is called as epiblama or piliferous layer. See this piliferous layer, this is one, one mark question they may ask. Okay, this is also, that is the outer layer, epiblama is also called as piliferous layer. Anga number four or kutti kutti root hairs na, inge mal epidi varanjir kanga. Okay, so these are the projections of the epidermis. Root hairs, they are coming from the outer layer. They are projections of the epidermis. And one important point what you have to uh, remember regarding root hairs are they are unicellular structures. They are meant for absorbing water and minerals from the soil. Uh, number root, uh, soil and the tanni minerals ellame absorb panni. Uh, plant ko kudu ko kudu yadu, root hairs. They are unicellular structures made up of only one cell. That point you have to remember without uh, fail. Okay now, so here, in our last video, we said that the outlay layer will be made up of uh, uh, what we said, cuticle, it may have stomata or it may have some epidermal outgrowths. I said cuticle is a structure which is meant for checking the evaporation of water and stomata is meant for transpiration, the process of transpiration. So here in this root, Cuticle kana teva kadayadu, stomata kana teva kadayadu. Cuticle may be present in the stem or in the leaf. So, number TS of uh, stem and leaf padikum bodhu cuticle pati pesanam. But here, uh, regarding root, there is no need for uh, checking of evaporation of water. So, cuticle is completely absent. And then you have to see stomata is also completely absent because stomata is present only in the leaf meant for transpiration and exchange of gases. But here, there is no need for stomata. So, you have to remember cuticle and stomata are completely absent here. And we will have these uh, epidermal outgrowths that is root hair. So, this is regarding the uh, outer layer. See children, one important point what you have to remember is uh, rather than memorizing everything, you have to... Uh, uh, keep thorough of this diagram. So, in the Thirpi um, Thirpi, uh, in the video path to or that our reader a padichale, in the diagram a pathale, you should be able to explain. And the madri you have to become thorough. Why? Because you are in uh, knowledge gaining phase. Ipa vandu you have to gain your knowledge. Ono da higher studies kaga you have to gain your knowledge rather than um, focusing only on marks. Marks. Second thing, when exam is coming, you have to prepare for that. And a model to encounter all your uh, competitive examinations, the knowledge what you gain from your lawyer classes is very, very important. So that knowledge you have to gain. Okay. So, book questions, you should not think. Uh, we don't know. Uh, uh, being a government examination, 
board examination they may ask, uh, ask questions from anywhere inside the reader also so you should be aware of all the topics what are there inside the reader so adukaga ellame mind la vechukonna kashto thirupi thirupi adu oru thadava adu padikumbodhe namma tharova padichitona the diagram ah paatha unna neenga adha pathi manapaadam panni manapaadam panna venda adha pathi if you are able to write in your own words na that is well and good okay now we have read about the outer layer it is also called as piliferous layer i said adha daandi nama ulla vandutona this portion from the outer layer till this vascular bundles this portion is completely called as cortex okay cortex i said it is a part of a ground tissue cortex here in root it is made up of uh, thin walled parenchyma cells regarding parenchyma cells you would have read in uh, standard 9 okay it is meant for storing food and water here in uh, root uh, the cortex region is made up of thin walled parenchyma cells okay cortex mudinj vandha unna inga first or circle irukum in the first circle is made up of that first circle is called as endodermis okay endodermis இந்த கார்டெக்ஸ் முடிஞ்ச உடனே நம்ம வரையக்கூடிய ஒரு ஃபஸ்ட்டு ச ச சர்க்கிள் அது வந்து என்டோடர்மிஸ் ஓகே இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இட் இஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் டு சே சிங்கிள் லேயர் ஆஃப் செல்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் திக்கனிங்ஸ் இன் இட்ஸ் ரேடியல் அண்ட் டேஞ்சென்ஷியல் வால்ஸ் அண்ட் தோஸ் திக்கனிங்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் அஸ் கேஸ்பேரியன் ஸ்ட்ரிப்ஸ் ஓகே இந்த திக்கனிங்ஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் த ரேடியல் வால்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரேடியல் அண்ட் டேஞ்சென்ஷியல் வால்ஸ் ஆஃப் endodermis are called as casparian strips okay now we will ju uh, just remember um cortex oda inner layer vand is called as and the podra first circle is called as endodermis you have to remember like that okay cortex periya periya cells varanjitom adukapra podakudi or first circle is called as endodermis okay it is the innermost part of the cortex so cortex daandi ulla vandutona again we have to draw one circle so everything inside the cortex is called as stele modella outermost layer varanjaachu then one big uh, multi multi layered of cortex we have drawn and after that one circle varaivu that circle is called as endodermis okay and the endodermis is nothing but it is the innermost part of the cortex ipdi nyabagu vechukkadukaga i am telling okay it's uh, very easy to remember uh, while you uh, when you remember like this endodermis daandi ulla vandta irukkadhu ellame we will call it as stele i said adula what and all is there abdinna endodermis daandi again we will draw one single layer of cells uh, that is called as pericycle okay pericycle adukaprama and the circle ku la irukkadhu this big big cells they are called as xylem okay and these small cells and this part will form phloem okay these big cells they are called as xylem and this part they are called as phloem or uh, root structure eduthu namba padikumbodu you have to uh, describe how the vascular bundles are how the vascular bundles na xylem and phloem eppadi arrange aayirukku last video you would have read about uh, the different types of vascular bundles radial conjoint concentric in paathom conjointly two types collateral bicollateral paathom then concentric la two types ampicribal amphi vessel na paathom here xylem and phloem are in root time telling you xylem and phloem are arranged at uh, different radius so we say they are vascular bundles are radial adukapra xylem paathina naal number varanjirukku 1 2 1 2 3 and 4 so we will call it as that arrangement as tetra arch tetra na 4 tetra arch for remembering i am telling you and you see the big cells the big sized cells of a xylem they will be called as metaxylem poga poga in the outer most layer uh, outer uh, outer di pogum bodu and the cell oda size vandu kammi aite podu okay so big cell is called as metaxylem and this kutty cell it will be called as protoxylem see when the protoxylem is outside the outside the facing outside from the center we call that arrangement as exarch xylem la rendu type irukum exarch endarch nu irukum x na veliya nyabagochukonu end na inside nu nyabagochukonu epovume inda protoxylem avachi nyabagochukonga protoxylem center la indi ipdi veliya irundadna we will call it as exarch protoxylem ulla towards the center irundadna we will call it as endarch 
and the end arch setup we will have in the stem okay so this is regarding the dicot root so we read about the outer layer called as epiblama also called as piliferous layer from where the outgrowths called as root hairs are there they are unicellular structures i said and we have a multi-layered cortex and the innermost layer of the cortex is called as endodermis and coming to uh, after this endodermis we have pericycle so everything inside in the endodermis it is called as uh, steli i said the steli will have uh, what to say pericycle as well as vascular bundles in the pericycle na in the endodermis kulla varaira or single layer of cells vandu pericycle na solvom pericycle one important point you have to remember regarding pericycle adhaadu or main root ipdi varinjiruvom side la nareya lateral roots ipdi varum in the lateral roots the pericycle is the site where the lateral roots will or uh, it is a, a place from where the lateral sites uh, lateral roots will arise in this one point you have to remember regarding one mark lateral roots enga rend arise agudna that site is going to be pericycle of the root this you have to remember so our first layer of circle is called as endodermis nu sonna adula vande casparian strips irukum thickenings those thickenings are called as casparian strips i said adha daandi varaya kudiya or again one circle one layer of cells will constitute pericycle this is the site for origin of lateral roots adukulla irukiradhu is xylem and phloem here xylem and phloem are arranged at uh, different radius so the arrangement is called as radial and tetrarch four numbers of xylem and the protoxylem is facing outside the center so we call it as exarch the arrangement is called as exarch so uh, this radial tetrarch exarch this is very very important you have to remember regarding the arrangement of vascular bundles cell அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த ஜைலம் அண்ட் ஃப்ளோயம் விட்டுட்டா இருக்கிற ஸ்பேஸ்லலாம் நிறைய செல்ஸ் ஃபில் ஆகிருக்கு தட் டிஷ்யூ இஸ் கால்டஸ் கன்ஜெக்டிவ் டிஷ்யூ ஓகே த டிஷ்யூ ஃபவுண்ட் பிட்வீன் த சைலம் அண்ட் ஃப்ளோயம் இட் இஸ் கால்டஸ் கன்ஜெக்டிவ் டிஷ்யூ இன் டைகாட் ரூட் திஸ் கன்ஜெக்டிவ் டிஷ்யூ இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி பேரன் கைமா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ரிகார்டிங் டைகாட் ரூட் கமிங் டு மோனோகாட் ரூட் நோ பிக் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் டைகாட் ரூட் அண்ட் மோனோகாட் ரூட் எக்ஸப்ட் ஃபார் தீஸ் வேஸ்குலா பண்டல்ஸ் see again the outer layer is called as uh, piliferous layer and from where the root hairs are coming and uh, the big multi layered uh, cortex region we can see which is made up of thin walled parenchymata cells and after this the inner to the cortex we have one first layer endodermis adukaparama endodermis kulla irukra inda layer is called as pericycle and here Uh, xylem many xylems we can find so here in monocot root the arrangement is polyarch poly means many many sets of xylems we can see polyarch and xylem and phloem are arranged at different radius so we call it as radial arrangement and protoxylem is facing outwards so the arrangement is exarch epome or ஒரு அனாட்டமி ஆஃப் ரூட்டோ ஸ்டெம்மோ லீஃபோ படிக்கும்போது அதோட வேஸ்குலார் பண்டல்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்குன்னு மைண்டில் வச்சுக்கணும் ஓகே ஹியர் ஐ செட் மெனி நம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜைலம் ஆர் தேர் ஸோ த அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் இஸ் பாலியார்ச் அண்ட் த ப்ரோட்டோ ஜைலம் இஸ் ஃபேசிங் த நாட் ஃபேசிங் த சென்டர் இட் இஸ் ஃபேசிங் த பெரிஃபரி ஸோ இட் இஸ் எக்ஸார்ச் அண்ட் ஜைலம் அண்ட் ஃப்ளோயம் அரேஞ்ச் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ரேடியஸ் ஸோ த அரேஞ்ச்மெண்ட் இஸ் ரேடியல் ஸோ இங்கே வந்து Uh, only we saw the difference between the vascular bundles inga vand tetrarch n padichom inga polyarch n padikrom why i am bringing this in the same um, uh, video abdina you will have an a comparative study also and you will never forget idukana difference idukana difference enna endradha you will never forget adukaga okay so here tetrarch xylem here polyarch and uh, exarch and uh, radial both same and uh, i said here conjunctive tissue that is the tissue found between the xylem and phloem is called as conjunctive tissue i said it is going to be parenchyma in case of dicot root but the conjunctive tissue in the monocot root is sclerenchyma regarding parenchyma sclerenchyma you would have read in standard 9 itself so here sclerenchyma will be the conjunctive tissue okay now uh, this is the another one difference and here the center part the center part is called as pith okay the center part is called as pith in um, dicot root we didn't draw the pith it uh, in uh, young roots it is present but in old roots it's absent here the center part of the monocot root it is called as pith 
okay so this you have to remember uh, one big comparative study regarding uh, monocot root and dicot root is uh, you have to remember regarding um, only two differences one is um, here in dicot root we have tetrarch xylem and in monocot root we have polyarch xylem and here the conjunctive tissue is parenchyma and in, in monocot root the conjunctive tissue is going to be sclerenchyma and <coughs> Inno passage cells. That is in the endodermis some, some thickenings pair I said they are going to be Casparian strips. But in the protoxylum irkra, in the areas you will not have those thickenings. Some openings will be there and they are called as passage cells. Okay. They are called as passage cells. Okay, here it is given. Passage cells. Passage cells are present there in monocot root also. These root, uh, through these passage cells, water and minerals will come in and go out. Water and minerals will come in. These passage cells are meant for the uh, water coming in from the cortical cells to the uh, vascular bundles. So this is regarding the TS of dicot root, uh, that is beans and TS of monocot root, maize. Uh, if any doubt is there, you can post in the description box and your doubts will be cleared. Any queries, please feel free to post. Thank you. Okay, if you go into the channel, you can find many technical videos also there. And if you go to the playlist and click uh, and uh, find for biology videos, you can have the biology videos coming in a sequence. Uh, many more videos uh, will be posted uh, in the future also. So requesting your support also. Go to the channel playlist and if you go in for searching for uh, biology you can find these videos in a sequence.